Hey there guys, we've got news for Global on April 18th, and it looks like there is not really very much new to talk about that wasn't already covered in the live stream recap video. So if you want to hear the majority of the news, make sure you listen to the live stream recap video I posted yesterday with uh, Barry as a guest. But for the, the in-game news that we now have, it's really just more of the same. Um, so the new unit, Winged Officer Celeste. Uh, there is a special vision card. We'll talk about that in a second. <coughs> but um, not really a whole lot of new information here. Uh, we do now know that she is a true Brave Shifter, which, you know, thumbs up for that. Very glad to see that. Uh, other than that, this is just all stuff we already knew from the live stream. So, uh, yeah. So for more information on Celeste, you know, check out my unit preview video on Wednesday evening after the data mine is available, <coughs> and we will we'll look at her in depth and go over her kit after we have all the information. I can't really say if she's worth it or not based on the limited information we have, but <clears throat> once I see on Thursday, I, or Wednesday evening, I'll let you know. Now, as far as the new vision card, uh, the Apex of Strength, we've got Roos and the Art. It's a 160 card, so already I'm like, eh, what's the reason? Uh, but anyway, 160 base stats, 500 for Brave Exvius only, and it gives a UA Beast Killer sing <coughs> single target buff. So it's not a bad card, and if you're going for Celeste anyway, you know, you may as well go ahead and grab it. But is this card, like, worth it all by itself? Probably not. But it's a nice free perk if you're going for Celeste no matter what. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, my throat's been acting up today. Uh, anyway, uh, again, Clash of Wills, not really any new information on the boss itself. Mecheron, Reuse, Sprite, we already know about all this. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll check this guy out on Thursday. And then the other new information is the gear. We talked about that during the, the live stream recap. But the Clash of Will Shop. So the units available. Um, Abigail, obviously amazing. Sylvie, amazing. If you don't have either one of those, definitely grab them. <coughs> the other four, kind of whatever. Um, Ace can be a crystal leader skill if you don't have anyone better. Emperor is a wind breaker, but you're not using wind. Fledgling Warrior is a physical tank, but you'd rather use Runda. And Ninja Edge never got his crowns, therefore he's basically worthless. You know, he would have been good, but not without his crowns. Uh, now these two materials, though, are pretty nice. So Gleaming Rain is 80% light and water resist, 50% HP, 5% MP per turn. Really nice. Um, you know, I'll definitely grab both of them, but uh, it's not like game changing or anything, but it's still very nice. I would definitely recommend you get it. <coughs> and then Escape Artist is a 50% evasion materia, which is by far the best evasion materia we have. The next highest is 30%. So absolutely grab both of those as well. And that's kind of it. You know, it's it's not that... I don't have more to say. It's just that we talked for an hour in the recap video, and we covered all this. We covered extensively on Celeste, Clash of Wills, and then, well, this vision card is new, but it's not anything special. It's just, you know, it's a nice vision card. But, yeah, you know, really, really short news video today just because we spent an hour talking about all this last night, and there's just nothing else new to say. So, yeah, there it is. So look for Wednesday <coughs> Wednesday evening. I will be talking about Celeste after we have the data mine. And then hopefully Thursday I'll be able to stream for you all and we can check out Clash of Wills. And the question is, can I cap Clash of Wills without any Neovision units? I do not know. We will any Neovision Plus units. Do not know. But that being said, if Celeste ends up being really good, I'll pull for. I'll go for it. Why not? Um, it just depends. It, depend, it depends, though. It really depends. I, I have to answer that question Wednesday night. I can't say right now. But if she is like Zyrus, it's a big skip for me. If she is really well designed, has a nice support kit, 
Like if she's closer to, for example, Aang, I'll go for it. Absolutely. Um, I, 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 I just need, need to see the kit. Got to see the kit. Got to see the kit. We'll see. I'm hopeful, though. I'm hopeful. She does have the 70 field, and we do know that she has the uh, the LB buff for the party and the stat buff for the party. Those are all very, very nice. So I'm, I'm happy to see that. I'm really happy to see that she is true Brave Shift. Love to see it. Um, it's just like, you know, I got to see the rest of it. Anyway, something else I was considering, maybe just for fun, if people are interested, you know, you can let me know in the comments. Um, would anyone be interested in seeing me play, like, Baldur's Gate 2? Not 3. I do know that Baldur's Gate 3 is very new and people are really hyped about it. But um, I don't have that. It's uh, It requires a stronger PC than I currently have. And yes, someday I will upgrade mine. But at the current time, I don't think Baldur's Gate 3 is possible to run on my old PC. But would anyone be interested in seeing Baldur's Gate 2? The very, very old Baldur's Gate 2. I'm going to play that. Might be fun. I don't know. It's just an idea. I, I, I might not do it. I'll think about it. Something to do, you know? Whatever. Uh, we'll see. But as far as the Brave Exvius news, I guess tune in Wednesday evening and we'll have more. See you then.